While North Korea keeps us guessing on its next major provocation, leader Kim Jong-un is hardly inactive. Over the weekend, it was reported that he'd attended the groundbreaking ceremony for a greenhouse farm in the eastern province of South Hamgyong. Now that in itself might be interesting in terms of attempting to tackle his country's food shortage, but what's also drawing our attention is the way he greeted crowds of soldiers and officials at the ceremony. Kim was shown standing up through the sunroof of an SUV, closely surrounded by those who'd gathered to see him. Unusually close, in fact. Kim seems to be trying to make himself more than ever a man of the people and seeking to strengthen unity at home by reinforcing his push for rural development, including the modernization of agriculture to ensure a steady supply of fresh vegetables. At the event in question, Kim encouraged soldiers who've been sent to help complete the greenhouse farm's construction by October 10th, the anniversary of the North Korean Communist Party's founding, a forerunner to the Workers' Party. So you have Kim, the people's leader, almost rubbing shoulders with the masses in the name of economic development. Against the backdrop of state media covering his weight loss as evidence of the hardships he's also been going through. But then you also have the vehicle itself that he was travelling in, what seems to be a high-end Lexus to add to his collection. You may have seen a report last year from a UN panel of experts stating that North Korea had tried to import several Lexus SUVs worth more than a million dollars in 2020. It's an interesting image then, the food scarcity and drive for national unity while waving from a luxury SUV. And now we could see the North resume its focus on much more expensive technology, the development of powerful weapons. Pyongyang appears to have held back to appease China during the Winter Olympics. Now that Beijing 2022 is over, analysts are anticipating something big, possibly an ICBM or nuclear test, especially as we approach another key anniversary on April 15th, which will mark 110 years since the birth of national founder Kim Il-sung.